Welcome to Tech Brothers with Damir. Today we are going to learn how to export SSRS report to the PDF. We will learn how to export a table or drill down a report in this video. Let's go ahead and open SSDT SQL Server Data Tools. I would like to show you export from here. If it works here in the SSDT, it should work just fine in the report server. So we can export from the report manager. But I would like to do this one from the uh, SSDT SQL Server data tools so because if we need to make some adjustment we can go ahead and make the adjustment right here and see uh, after exporting the report. Now let me show you the detailed report I'm going to export. So this is preview and I can see all those fields that come in just correct and our last field is the country. Now you go to the export button sorry so you go to export button and hit a PDF so that's how you will be exporting and then you can save to wherever you want to save and here we are going to call this one a detailed report so hit save and they are saved in the videos so now you see that okay the last column here should be country but we do not see the country here what happened with the country so if you scroll down you are gonna see a country column is hanging in there by itself so that's the problem now if uh, you have a lot of columns on your report uh, and uh, they will not fit on the page they are going to go to the next page uh, and that's how you will see that uh, there are multiple ways uh, to handle this uh, situation uh, so let me go back to the SSDT and take care of that the very first uh, um, technique I will use uh, I might uh, just decrease the size of uh, F name column and also the product name and the sum of items sold because I have plenty of space but let's do that one quickly and one more thing let's bring them close items sold they can come close now from here city sorry city can be a little bigger one so now if you go ahead and export it again and see oh okay then if country is going to next page or not we can have a look from here the same way we, uh, we we will be exporting and taking a look from the PDF file if you will hit on print layout and that comes correct that means it will come correct or the on the same page in your PDF format so here we can see the countries coming on the same page now so we are all good we can hit export let's uh, go to export button PDF and then yes override it happen okay because it is uh, used by another let me close this one so let's uh, export one more time so if we can save yes I would like to save now it is saved go to the folder open the report and now it is uh, coming just fine now, now let me go to give you the second scenario where we do not have option uh, to exclude the columns or shrink the columns uh, let's say we have region column here and uh, then we have status flag column here as well so we have a lot more columns now and uh, it is coming just fine here but if we export it it will not come on the same page so let's go back and save it yes I would like to override it go to the folder open the report and now you see that after country the other columns uh, which one we have added region and status flag uh, went to the next page uh, and I would not like to do that I want them to on the same page uh, so let me close this uh, go, go back to the SSDT SQL Server data tools uh, and now go to design uh, here as uh, we know that we can uh, maybe sh uh, change the font size uh, and uh, then shrink them or uh, uh, bring the columns close to each other give some space uh, so we can adjust that the other part we can go to the report properties uh, and then uh, instead of uh, using a portrait we can use the landscape format for the page and uh, here you can see the width and height for that one hit ok now let's go ahead and preview and uh, go to the print uh, layout and now we can see that everything is coming correct so as we have changed the layout for the page that uh, that worked for us so let's go and export it to PDF save yes go to the folder and now we can see that all the report contents are coming on the same page so columns are coming on the same if you have more records they will come on multiple pages but all the columns will be on the same page they will not be broken into multiple pages as we see in the first scenario 
so with the PDF I would like to tell you guys that it is more like a playing you have to go adjust uh, different things uh, you have to adjust the tablet size if uh, in that case uh, that work for you you would like to have only portrait uh, page type uh, and uh, you don't want to have land uh, Scape, uh, you can change uh, the fonts, uh, make them smaller, maybe, and uh, uh, decrease the size between the columns, uh, or other way around. You have uh, go to the report properties uh, and then adjust uh, the size margins uh, and uh, other properties of this uh, page size and uh, try to adjust uh, the all the columns uh, in that uh, page. You can have centimeters and inches here, so whatever works best for you, what you understand them, okay, inches or centimeter. You can change it from here so that's just easy as we are living in different countries and somewhere uh, people um, they are more comfortable working with centimeters and somewhere people are more uh, comfortable working with the inches so now let's cancel this out and go to drill down preview the report and we can see this report and go ahead and click on print layout and in the print layout you see that there are columns they are going to the next such as product name and item sold so we have to adjust that if we want to print that or uh, actually we would like to export to the PDF so I'm gonna click on print layout again come back to the design and here I have two options again I can adjust the columns uh, let's say salesperson first name so I'm gonna call this one F name And bring it close last name also bring it close now we are all good here let's bring this one close as well and let's uh, preview the report and here go to the print layout now you can see that all the columns are coming on the same page let's export it and see what happened now PDF and uh, let's hit OK now drill down The report is exported successfully but we see the data on the very first uh, group uh, so it did not go the next uh, drill down level and give us the data so uh, we have learned uh, in the previous video if we export the report with drill down capabilities uh, in Excel uh, that give us option uh, that give us those plus and minus signs uh, to collapse or expand uh, the rows uh, but here uh, we, we don't have that one so if you are exporting your report uh, to the PDF whatever you will see in the report uh, let's say I'm going to exp uh, let let's put this one uh, on the um, report server and export from there now so I'm gonna go ahead and drill down and uh, let's say deploy I have already set up the properties and everything in the last videos you could uh, see that uh, I'm gonna go to the report manager and here is my report if I refresh I can see the data right here so you can see now if I will drill down here and uh, I can export from here PDF it's going to ask me where you would like to save okay same right here show in a folder now if you will even uh, export from the report manager you will still see the same whatever you see on the first page so let's go back here and let me do one thing I'm going to expand the region by myself and then I'm going to expand some of the countries and then export this so let's export this one and think about that we have expanded only this Indian Pakistan will it show us the France and Germany data or the USA data so these are some experiments we are doing it and we will learn what it will do so let's open this one now you see whatever we have expanded it that's what it is showing us on the PDF so to get all those rows on the PDF uh, that's also kind of a small challenge we have to deal with and uh, I'm going to create a next video I don't want to spend a lot of time in this video and the uh, right expression and everything so let's go ahead and uh, finish it up here and uh, we see that if you are exporting a, a drill down report whatever you have expanded it that's what you are gonna see on the PDF file so if uh, one way is uh, okay you would like to go ahead and expand uh, all those uh, details by yourself uh, and then export it and that's how you will see the 
results in the PDF or rows in the PDF. But that's sometimes you have a lot of groups and a lot of subgroups that's maybe not feasible or not easy thing to do. So we are going to create a next video in which we will learn how to uh, expand or even we don't need to expand it we just hit export and when we are exporting to the PDF uh, it will automatically show us the detailed data and export to the PDF. So let's go ahead and do it. Thanks very much for watching this video and I will see you guys in the next video.